I'm excited to be here. Um, uh, as mentioned, my name is Kelly Walters. I'm a designer, uh, graphic designer specifically, a uh, researcher, an educator, uh, and I'm an assistant professor of communication design at the New School. Um, uh, part of what I'm hoping to share today is a snapshot of some of my current research. Seven minutes is a tight little turnaround, so I'll do as best as I can in this space. Um, but what I'm primarily looking at are animated reaction GIFs, black film posters, and really thinking about the connection between the two of them together um, as they relate to black representation in the media. So specifically, what am I looking at, right? Like I said, black reaction GIFs uh, are my source material. Um, and really looking specifically at television and film. Um, and this is across different time periods. Uh, and I'm still like working through the process of trying to narrow down what that subset is. Um, and, and connection to the reaction gifts, I'm thinking about the relationship of where they're sourced from. So if they are from films, particularly, uh, thinking about the design work that's connected to that space as well. So right now, I've, again, like tried to narrow down my focus so I can begin this process. Um, but the black film posters that I'm currently looking at are around the time period of 1920s to the 1970s. And inside of that space, right, between the gifts and between the posters, what am I looking specifically for? Uh, these are a few of the questions that I'm looking to answer. Um, one is, what was the original source from the film or television show of those gifts? Uh, what was that time period, like I was saying before? Uh, what social movements were occurring at the time uh, of whenever those films or television shows were present? Um, what patterns or colors are captured in that loop? And patterns could be um, connected to the body gestures of the figures in the, in the animation of the GIF, or color could be the actual tapestry or textures or prints or physical patterns that are in those graphics. And so for me, it's important to really dissect um, the GIFs beyond just how they're mutated and viralized, but actually what's happening inside of that snapshot. And I'm doing the same thing for film as well. Um, with black film posters, I'm similarly looking at the time period. I'm looking at what social movements were occurring. And, and separate from the gifts, I'm really interested in what language is being used. So depending on the time period, you'll see in a few of the images later, um, I'm really looking at language like colored or an all colored cast and what that meant during that time period. Um, and then as a graphic designer, I'm just really interested in typography and how that operates in the context of the layout. So these combinations of things plus the body gestures are really, they become material for me um, in the way that I design. And I'm interested in examining uh, media archives um, because I can begin to recontextualize this content. And much of this content is coming from public domain. And it's an opportunity for me to reframe um, as, a, as a social critique on that. So with the reaction GIFs, right? Like this is just a, a Google search. I was like, what happens when you hit black reaction GIF? And these are all the images that pop up, right? And I'm like, mm, interesting. And then when you do white reaction GIF, you get like Snow White, you get the guy from Breaking Bad, you get all these really interesting um, sort of uh, images, but also the language that shows up here is very different. And that to me is really interesting, right? I don't know exactly all the algorithmic properties to that, but I'm still trying to navigate what that means. And not to do like a, we don't have time for a history lesson, but um, part of the connection between body gesture, graphic design, looking at poster work, and also understanding black minstrelsy in, in the US and understanding what that means to the legacy of, of promotional film posters that feature black bodies. Um, I'm just constantly trying to understand what these images mean in relation to that, right? And these are Burt Williams and George Walker, um, both vaudeville performers that performed in blackface. And um, one of the quotes that I think is really interesting in part of my research is from Lauren Michelle Jackson. And she wrote in an article, we need, the article was called, We Need to Talk About Digital Blackface and Reaction Gifts. And this was for Teen Vogue. 
She said, while often associated with Jim Crow era racism, the tenets of minstrel performance remain alive today in television, movies, music, and its most advanced iteration on the internet. And to me, this is really important to understand and connect the dots between television, movies, and music as it relates to this current contemporary landscape that we're in, uh, spe especially on the internet. And so I am always just trying to draw parallels and connections with, between historical material and more contemporary graphics, thinking about those, these body gestures, making sense of what it means to pair two images or graphics together, um, trying to understand what it means to borrow the elements that you might see in a moving graphic like this uh, to a static poster on the left. Um, and then also just sort of thinking about, let me see if they get the GIFs. Oh, my GIFs aren't moving. There they are. But like, you know, from all of these different spaces, whether it's television or film, um, or even just black exploitation films, right? There's, there's gesture happening in this space. And to me, I'm interested in these eyes, the, the way the eyes are operating, the way the body is moving, the way the typography is operating. What does that mean collectively together as a design form, right? And so as I keep that kind of stream of my process in mind, I'm also, like I said, looking at these black film posters and to kind of, create a space for me to uh, just keep a pod that's manageable at this point. Like I said, I'm really looking at um, the 1920s and up through the black exploitation era. And these are a few film posters from Oscar Micheaux's uh, black productions like Birthright, Underworld. And from this, again, this is the most important thing to me is like, how are we using this language, right? And this is a part of my process. I'm like, oh, let me mess with this, right? And I deconstruct them out of the original source, and I keep doing that over a series of different posters. And right now, I've created a singular poster like this one, which looks like it's of that time, but it's not. And this is another one. And I'm messing with different types of printing processes like risograph printing, putting them up, mixing and matching, messing with them. And that's me. Thank you.